welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. For anybody who is new, and welcome. I am so excited about today's video because I'm doing another unboxing video. Woo. If you guys have not seen, I have done two previous videos on Mexicrate. Um, I have unboxed their subscription boxes before so if you have not watched those go check them out this one is not the subscription box uh, this box is their one-time box so you do not have need to subscribe to a monthly subscription to get this one this one is their spicy box so all of the stuff in here is spicy stuff um, these boxes sell out so quick I've been wanting to get one for the longest and every time I go in they're sold out so as soon as I got the email saying that they were in stock, I went online and bought it quick. So yeah, like I said, this one is not part of the subscription. Um, if you want to see the subscription box um, unboxing, then go check out the other videos. I'll leave it linked up here and also leave them. I will also leave them a link in the description box so you guys can go check them out. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. Oh my god, I freaking love spicy stuff. So I am really, really really interested on opening this box so really quick if you have not subscribed make sure that you guys go hit that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so let's go ahead and get started on the video let's this is a spicy box by mexicrate and this one retails for 23 dollars all right first things first first things first where's the video okay I want to get a copyright. Anyways, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not say this, but I should have said it when I started recording. But let me just go ahead and say it right now. This video is not sponsored. <laughs> I need to say that because I don't want people to think that because I have already done two previous videos and then now I'm doing this one that this video was sponsored and it was not sponsored. I bought this stuff with my own money, even though Mexi Crane, y'all need to step your game up and y'all need to sponsor me. Send me some stuff so that I can share with my viewers. Anyways, so yeah, Ugh. let me get comfortable. Let's go ahead and get started. So it says sour, salty, spicy, sweet. Taste Mexico. Ooh, look at this. Oh, okay, something just fell. Wait, do I need to move this way? Yeah, I need to move this way. So here's how it looks inside, and I did just drop one candy. Let's see what I drop. Alright, are y'all ready? Okay, I'm gonna go for this one because oh my god, these look so freaking delicious. And I have never tried these before. Can y'all see them? Do I need to zoom in? Are y'all good? I think you have to see it. So these are pulperin dots, extra picante. Oh my god, I freaking love the pulparindos. Um the little huesitos, oh my god, those are like my favorite. So I'm excited about trying these. Did I get some scissors? No, maybe, yes. Oh my god, let's see, let's see. So here they are. Oh my god. Yeah, hold up. Mm. Oh my god, these are so good. Damn. If my sister's watching this, I don't like these hoes. Oh my god, it is so good. I don't want to eat them all. Because obviously I have a lot of candy to taste. But oh my god, those things are good. I'm gonna get these because I noticed that they sent me a lot of these. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> I wonder if these are the same. Because these are puparindo with real fruit, extra spicy picante. And these kind of say the same thing so maybe this is just in dots and this is of course the strip i've never tried this one so i'm excited about trying these this will be my first time oh my god it's so hot in here oh i still packaging has chili like oh i'm sure y'all can't see it in the camera but there's even chili right here in the wrapper Oh my god, this is so freaking delicious. 
these taste better than the yellow ones. And I love the yellow ones, but mmm. They kind of have like a little, I don't know, like a little hit of like lemon. Oh wow, these are so good. Mmm. This definitely gets a 10. This one gets, I'll say a 9 because I think this one's better than this one, but. Woo! Very good. Botanas Whipples Donitas. These are wheat snacks, um, chili flavored, and frituras de trigo, sabor chile. I love these. I've tried these before. I haven't tried this. I don't think I've tried this brand, but I love these. My son loves these. Yeah, they're good. Wish they were a little bit more spicy. Cause I could, sorry. Cause I could like barely taste the chile. I could taste the lemon, but I can't really taste the chile, but. They're good. These get a straight up nine too. I was gonna wait till the, like, the end of the video to open these, but I'm actually gonna open these right now because I've been dying, dying to try these. Um, these are, the Diablo Spicy Sour Sweet, and these are uh, gluten-free, low fat, low sodium, six assorted fruit flavors, bears in a special season salt. And I think, oh man, I don't know if I'm right. No, no, I think I'm right. Yep, yeah, these were created by Mexican themselves. And shit, they always put them on Instagram, and oh my god, they look so freaking delicious. And I've been wanting to try them, so I'm so freaking happy to see me. So they have strawberry, orange, green apple, cherry, pineapple, and lemon. My favorite fruit is strawberry. So I think I'm gonna, oh fuck. I don't even think I have to pick it out. Yeah, I don't think I could tell. Can y'all see in there? Look at this. They're little gummy bears. these are really good like they're not as spicy as I try as I thought because they do say Diablo I thought they were gonna be like really really spicy so I was expecting spicier but you kind of hit like the spicy and then whenever the coating of the chile um, goes away you hit the sweet part but even the sweet part they're really good. It doesn't taste like the regular gummy bears that you buy at the store. So, I don't know. They're good, but I was expecting spicier, so maybe I would give these like a 7. These are the Roca Loca. No, not Roca Loca. Roca Leta. Yeah, Roca Leta. But these are four chili layered and gum center lollipops. These are lollipop with chili powder and chewing gum center. I love this paleta. These are like one of my favorite paletas. Um, I don't want to try these because I've ate these like all the time. But let me tell you, these are freaking the bomb.com. 10 out of 10 for sure. These look like these, but they're not. These are the Pelon Peloneta. And we have, let me see, tamarind, chamoy, and chamoy. And I've never tried these before. Since I have one of the tamarind and two of the chamoy, I'm gonna try the chamoy one. Ooh, it looks like so. Looks like like play doh. It's a little sticky. Ooh. Okay. I should just bite it. really good I'm gonna try to like bite into it because I don't know if there's like something else in the middle oh this one is spicy ah. 
I don't think I could bite it. <gasps> no freaking way. <coughs> I cracked it open. Let's see, can y'all see that? There is a bunch of chili powder in here. Like, whenever I cracked it, like, all of the little powder just went in my mouth. Oh my god, it is... Let me tell you, the little... The powder in here is this brown stuff, as you can see. It is so good. Like, it just hit me by surprise, that's why. I was a little dramatic back there. But... Mmm. Mmm. That tastes so good. So I think the top layer is chamoy, then you hit a paleta, and then inside the paleta is the chili powder. Mm. Oh my god, I was like fascinated by the, by the chilito. This is definitely a 10 out of 10, but I will warn you, this shit is spicy. I love spicy stuff, and I could eat anything spicy, but that bitch is hot. Three. I got three of these little balls and these are called enchil enchilocas. These are flavored, um, the flavor pineapple, piña. They look like very messy, even the wrapper is very messy. It's like every Mexican candy has tamarind, so I'm pretty sure this is tamarind. It doesn't say on the wrapper. Mm -hmm. It's tamarind. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. But it's a big gummy. Of course, the flavor is pineapple. And it's covered in tamarind. The flavor is good, but I don't know. I feel like it doesn't go good with the pineapple. I'm sorry that I'm talking with my mouth full, but I don't want to make the video super long. And then this is like... Ah... It's super, super, super chewy. Now I remember why I don't like it. I'm sorry, but I do not like anything chewy. I don't like anything getting stuck in my teeth. Then I got some Takis. Everybody knows about Takis. Everybody loves Takis. Um, I don't want to open them because I do not like Takis. It's too spicy. They irritate my stomach. Well, they're not even spicy. Um, I personally, I do not like Takis. They just irritate my stomach. I don't even think they're spicy and I don't like them. This is one of my favorite Mexican candies as well. This is the Lucas da Bombazo. Um, so this is um, lemon flavored hot candy with chewing gum. So you get a bunch of candy inside the little tub. The candy is like delicious. And then in the center, there's a little ball of gum. Like whenever you mix the gum with like a little bit of the candy, like it just gives it like a little hit. It's good. But yeah. These are the Pica Slice Paletas, the lollipops. And these are in the shape of a watermelon. A chili covered hard candy lollipop and the flavor watermelon. These are really, really good too. Um, I would probably give it like a 7 out of 10. You know how they're really good? Like, I would like get them, get a little lemon, squeeze lemon in there, and then suck on it. You get like the taste of the lemon plus the chilito. Oh my god, it's like delicious. You need to try it. <laughs> Revolcaditas with chile con... With... Wait. With chile con chile. Flavored mango. And this is what they look like. Give me three of these. And they are... Yeah, they're all in the flavor of mango. Mm. Yeah, I've tried these. These are really, really good. I hope you all don't think that I'm like freaking faking over this because I'm saying that like everything is good, but everything really is good. Mm. Like the flavor of the candy, like I said, it's mango. Like, it really does taste like a mango. It's so good. 
Up next are these Lucas Salsaghetti. These are in um, tamarind flavored sauce, a spicy chamor flavored hot candy. So the best way to describe them is like, you know, like the candy, like the sour patches. Not sour patches. What the hell am I talking about? Like them sour worms. That's how it is, but these are like super, super tiny and thin. They are covered in tamarind. And inside the packaging at the bottom, there's a little sauce. Now the sauce is the um, is in tamarind flavor. This one says that this one is the extra spicy one. They have another one that's or that's green, and that was just like the regular flavor. They're delicious. They're super, super good. Um, I don't want to try these because I've tried these like a thousand times. I buy them all the time as well. But yeah, these are really, really, really good. The last one is the Crazy Sandia. These kind of look like this other one that I opened. The pineapple one. But these look like they're just like a little watermelon. Yeah, so it's like shaped in a little watermelon. It's just covered in chili. This thing is spicy. And I took a small bite. And that thing is super, super spicy. Woo! I think I'm gonna need some water for that one. Those were all the snacks. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video.